One Life next, Monday through Friday's episodes in a row. SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps. Hiya, Zick. Hello, Roxanne. Welcome to the Love Shack. Thank you. So how you doing? Are you dating? I like your haircut. Who did it? I just came by to check on my students. Oh, well, everything's going great here. They're in a real tight slip. Nothing gets by me. I'm very glad to hear that. And I'm firm and I'm fair and I stay way out of their business. Roxy, how many times must I tell you, stop going through my dresser drawers? Uh, President Davidson. Hudson, hello. Uh, we don't have a meeting tonight, do we? No, no, we do not. No, I just came by hoping to get an update on the community center. How are things going? Uh, it's going pretty well, you know, yeah. other than the uh, construction site getting trashed, of course, and the human bones we found buried there. Not much else to report, no. Yeah, so everything's hunky-dory. Oh, and there's uh, Marcy's brilliant idea to have all the guys take off their clothes for money. Yeah. Wait, you want me to what? It's for a good cause. The Love Center needs the funding, and Lambview needs a community center. And getting... Naked is the answer. Well, the money that you and the guys make from getting naked is how we're gonna finish the project. Yeah, but why me? Because, because you're my brother and I asked you to do it. And besides, you know, you have a good body. All the girls think so. You'll help us rake in the dough. Really? You don't think Ugh. I need to work on these abs Ron, a little bit? Ron, put or? the shirt down. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Come on, I'm serious. Well, we need the money. Well, what about uh, overseeing all that construction? You know, now I can do that now that that Philly roofing job is finished. Well, exactly. That's even better because now you can strip and to work at the construction site. <laughs> I, I can't believe you beat me a minute you cough. It's my game. This is my game. I have trophies in this. Did you see the plaque on the red windmill on the ninth hole? My name is on that. Okay. For having more Don't holes in one. Bitter. Don't be bitter. I'm a good bitter. I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of a natural athlete. You know, I take to certain sports. Yeah. Golf, basketball, tennis. No, okay. Tennis. I'll get you in tennis. I could whoop you in tennis. I beat you in every other court. Why not the tennis court? You're on, lady. Okay. We're not too competitive, are we? We, Kimasabi? We. I am losing my patience, David. Now, where are Ace and Kelly? I already told you everything I know. You checked the note, okay? They went to some beach community. All right, Kelly? Kelly! Look, they're not here, okay? Check upstairs. Oh. They're not up there. Yeah. Look, Kevin, Kelly is probably looking out over the Atlantic right now, sipping a pina colada. I know what's going on here. Don't even put you up to this. And she took Ace and Kelly somewhere, and she told you to cover. Kevin, how many times do I have to tell you? They're not upstairs! They're breaking the law. They're defying a court order. Are you willing to take the fall for that? It's been so long. I, um, I wanted you to meet someone. <laughs> oh, <yeah. sighs> this is, this is Ace. It's your grandson. Oh, he's so beautiful. He is, isn't he? He's perfect. Oh. I wanted you to know that I'm a mother now, that I have a child I always wanted. Oh. <laughs> he's an angel. He is the most precious baby I've ever seen. <sighs> Kelly, how did you get him? Well, I know he's not really yours. I was gonna go to Rodie's and grab a burger. Do you wanna come? Oh, uh, actually, I thought I'd uh, go down to the construction site, see if I could get more sheetrock down or... But we were there all day. Yeah, uh... Okay, fine, I'll go with you, and then we'll grab a bite afterwards. Jen, I don't uh, think that's such a good idea. Why not? Are we gonna talk about this? Talk about what? Nothing, forget it, forget it. 
Riley, what is wrong with no, you? No, look, nothing. No, nothing. what do you? What do we have to talk about? About when you crawled in bed with me last night. According to the police, the human remains that were found at the construction site were those of a young woman who died, I think, 50 years ago. 50 doesn't sound that young to me, Vic. Oh, I'll break it down for you later, Roxy. And uh, the vandalism is still under investigation. But I'd quite like to move on to guys taking off their clothes for money. Well, like I said, it was Marcy's idea as a way to gain money for the center. Uh -huh. She wants all the guys to do a strip show for charity. Ooh, boys gone wild. Yeah, Marcy's using a booty noodle. It, it's certainly an important part of the project, you know, thinking outside the box. Wait a minute, so... Naked guys are gonna come popping out of a box? But I don't know that a burlesque show would be my first choice for a fundraiser. Uh, me either. Of course, what I would or wouldn't do is totally irrelevant. If you as a group can set and achieve goals, that's all that matters, okay? All right, so the skin is in. Well, it's up to the crew. <laughs> Woo! We're gonna have a blast. And, you know, I can emcee it. Unless you want to do it. Oh, don't even try to tell me you're not competitive. Come on. Come on, your eyes roll back into your head when ah. you were playing that game. You didn't even know that course, and you just focused in and just whooped me. You killed me. Okay, okay. They always told me I have really good um, hand-eye coordination. Oh. You know what? You should have asked me to switch hands. I should have asked you to switch off your cell phone. You see how many putts of mine went wide when that stupid thing blared off? Oh, yeah, like the one that went left and blew out the lights at the concession stand? Yeah. Like that one. As a matter of fact, I'm taking that off the scorecard. What? I am. That wasn't fair. I got a point back for that. Oh, and that one too. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. I'm sorry. It went off. About I'm five sorry minutes. about the phone. Okay. My my assistant is trying to reach Judge Myers. You know, maybe we're trying to get him to at least lift the order until after the hearing. And you can't get that, huh? When Kevin gets Ace, he's probably already grabbed him from Kelly. How's Kelly dealing with all of this? Not good, I suppose. Well, what would you do if your ex-husband tried to take Matthew away from you? Bo tried to take Matthew? Oh, let's well, see, that's... He's just not like him. He wouldn't do that. I bet you Kelly thought this wasn't like Kevin. I bet you they were really in love. And if you would have asked them if something like this could ever happen, they would have laughed at you. You don't think I know a Dorian stunt when I see one? She asked you to stall me, didn't she? Of course, she's nowhere to be found. Just left you here to deal with the consequences. Oh, just give it a rest, She's using Kevin. you, David, just like she does everybody else in her Hold life. Hold on a second. That's my fiancé you're talking about. Uh, okay. Okay. Listen, if you claim to know her so well, then please, just tell me she's not capable of this. She's taking advantage of you, David. You know, maybe you should send her a message that you're not her plaything anymore. Come on, just tell me where they are. There's no sign of Mrs. Buchanan. Or the baby. Or Dr. Lord. Well, I'm not surprised. Mr. Vickers here might have some information on their whereabouts. What do you say, David? All I know is that Kelly took the baby to a beachside resort with Dorian. He's lying. Take him in for questioning. We're here to enforce a court order and to transfer custody of the child. We have no other authority. This isn't over. You make sure you tell Kelly and Dorian that when you talk to him. Let's go. What a bunch of yahoos. Hello? Paul, hey. Where are you? Why are you taking Dorian to Boston? Uh, oh, your mom, huh? <laughs> yeah, you should make her pay top dollar. <laughs> um, okay. Well, listen, do you uh, know when you're coming back? All right, just give me a call. I don't know why you would say something like that. I mean, Kelly, he's my son. He's he's your grandchild. Sweetheart, we both know that's not true. This baby doesn't belong to you, and you have to give him back. But you know that. That's why you're here. No, no, I, 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 I can't. He's, 
He's my child. I, 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 I can't give him back. He's not. He's my son. He's my baby boy, Paul. <laughs> What is so infuriating is that the hearing is only two days away. Why take the baby away now? So Kevin can argue possession. Mm. Mm. Who knows what that Emerson weasel's up to? Who's doing this hearing? Is it Judge Myers? Judge Lowell. Oh, very good. That's good. She's fair. I like her. Mm-hmm. You know, speaking of fair, Evangeline, um, RJ came to see me the other day. He wanted to know what the nature of your relationship with John was. He asked me as a friend. Um, all I knew at the time was that you guys were working together on something and that you had impulsively kissed him, so... What is going on with you and John? Listen, Natalie, thanks for meeting me. And I'm sorry if you felt insulted the other night. I, I didn't, I didn't mean to attack you. It's okay. No, it's really not. I'm just, I was just worried about mom and I, I'm upset about Kevin and this thing with Todd, it's just, it's completely out of control. I heard that Kevin fired Todd from being the editor in chief. i mom's really pretty mad at me for giving Kevin my uh, proxy so that he could vote my shares. I don't know. She's mad at Kevin for using the banner son to hurt Todd. She doesn't blame you at all. But can I ask, why, why wouldn't you resend your proxy? I mean, are you that mad at me? Is that why? <laughs> I'm like, no, Jessica. And I really don't see what the big deal is about Kevin trying to protect the family from Todd. All Todd does is hurt people, including Mom. That's not true, Natalie. That's not true at all. Oh, oh, it's not true. Did you totally forget about Christian and myself? Todd was just... gonna get us both killed, throw me to Mitch, protect Blair. No big deal. You know what? Kevin is my brother, all right? You and Mom are always saying the family's gotta stick together, so I am. But this time, Kevin is completely in the wrong. Why don't you give him a break? All right, Kevin may not be perfect, granted, but he is trying to do the right thing. I mean, he did give Paul a job after I gave him my proxy. Is that why? Did you betray Mom to get your boyfriend a job? Natalie, what is wrong with you? You know, whatever you want to do, Vic, I'm down with that. I think it's safe to say that uh, I would be somewhat out of my element emceeing a strip <laughs> show. I think, Roxy, you would do a much better job. Yeah, well, you know, I got an expertise. I judged a Best Buns contest once in Atlantic City. I mean, talk about your all-beef patties. Whoa. Well, we get the point, Roxy. Anything else about the project that I need to know? Um, we're getting along a little better. That's wonderful. Oh, we got a slew of workers, uh, carpenters, plumbers, electricians, to volunteer. Rex Balsam brought by an out architect. She's really great. She's yeah, great. and several of you mentioned her in your weekly video reports. Yeah, well, she let him draw up some of the blueprints. Excellent. Yeah. And and apparently some parishioners from St. James have been coming by to volunteer? Reverend Carpenter brought them by, yeah. Oh. Um, you know, a bunch of people from Angel Square as well. Right. Actually, we put up a wall yesterday. It was awesome. It was Isn't really wonderful? something. Yeah. You're making such progress. Yeah, I guess so. Yes, you are. Yeah. Keep it up. Because it has to be finished by the start of full term. That's only uh, four weeks away. You can accomplish an awful lot in four weeks, Hudson. I mean, look what the group has done already. Well, Vic, thanks for coming by. Sure. The next time you get a haircut, let me take a stab at it. Take care. Goodbye, Hudson. Bye. Bye. Four weeks? Riley, I did not crawl into bed with you last night. Jen, I heard you get up out of your bed, and then the next thing I know, you're climbing into mine. What? Yeah, and then you cuddled up next to me. You're crazy. No, I'm serious. I said, Jen, Jen, and you didn't say anything. You just got up and walked back to your bed. Riley, I... What? Look, you don't remember? 
No, I don't. You were dreaming. No, I was not. It happened. I, maybe you were sleepwalking. What, has that happened before? Or? Yeah, uh, my mom, she told me when I was a kid that I, I used to sleepwalk a little bit. Oh. oh, my God, why didn't you wake me up? Jen, I, uh, I thought you were awake. A and what, you just thought I had this sudden urge to jump into bed with you? Come on, Ronnie, please, please, I'm begging you, I'm down on my knees. Pretty please with the cherry on top. All right, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll be in your strip show. <laughs> you're the best. Did I ever tell you you're my favorite uh, brother? Yeah, I'm only doing this to make sure you graduate, oh, you know, because that'll kill me uh, if you don't. The girls are going to love you. You are going right. to break yes. in the dough, yes, and okay. the love center's going to have more money than it knows what to do with. Oh, see so who it is. Oh, it's Eric. Oh, hey, he called me this morning. I didn't get back to him. Eric, hey, how's my favorite brother? Oh, sorry. What? What? Are you are you kidding me? Oh my god, that's that's fantastic. What happened? Stop it. Yeah, I'm so happy for what you. Happened? Stop it. I'm actually standing here with Ronnie right now. I'll tell him for you. Okay. Listen, no, no, no. I want you to call me later, okay? I want all of the details. All right, bye. What happened? You're never gonna believe what this. What happened? <laughs> Eric's getting married. So we found a girl, right? That's great. That'll be happy, right? Ronnie, he's marrying his boyfriend. I swear, I, I do not remember crawling into bed with you. Look, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's no big deal. I was, uh, you were just sleepwalking, right? So why the long puss, Hudson? Well, didn't you hear what President Davidson said? It's going to be impossible to finish the center in four weeks. <laughs> Would you tell us Willie Ward to stop thinking about anything but putting on the best damn strip show ever? The guys are gonna need a lot of work. Hey. So, um, I'm gonna MC, and maybe I'll be in charge of the calligraphy. Cause you know, I've been studying guys for a long time, so I really know what moves make them look really sexy. I think you mean choreography. Do I? Mm. Oh, good, you're in costume already. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, we're gonna start to rehearse the moves for the strip show. <laughs> Right, count me out. Why? Because it's totally gay. I mean, come on. Why is Eric doing this? For God's sake, he should have just stayed in the army. Do what? Marry his boyfriend who he's been with for two years, who he loves, and he loves him. I don't care. Marriage is between a man and a woman, not a couple of... A couple of what? what look, what Eric and this guy are doing is just... <sighs> Mars, come on. It's unnatural. Says who? Dad. D Dad lives in a time war. Yeah, well, what about the church? Yeah, when was the last time you even went to church? Okay. How about the president of the United States? You didn't even vote for him. That's not the point. Well, that's not, guys. Hey, Mark, um, this is my brother. Hey. Ron, this is Mark. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, hey, How how's it going? All right, I'm good. Uh, I'll get out of your way. No, I'm wait, wait, some... wait. Just one second, will you? Um, I'd like to ask you a question, Mark. No, Okay. No, Ron, it's okay. You need to I want to know what he thinks this. about this. That's all. Just want to know what he thinks. Fine. Mark, tell me something. How do you feel about uh, two guys getting married? I did not betray Mom. How could you even say something like that? But you did give Kevin your proxy so he'd give your boyfriend a job, right? No, I didn't. You know what? Honest to God, Natalie, you're just as selfish as Kevin. You know what? I'd rather be like Kevin than the rest of the hypocrites in this family. Girls, good heavens, what on earth is going on? Um, she gave Kevin her proxy so he'd give Paul Kramer a job. It was not like that. Then how was it, Natalie? Why don't you tell us? I don't have to tell you anything. Okay, stop. Stop, please. Natalie, did Kevin give Paul a job? Yeah, but I don't see why that's such a bad thing. I didn't say it was a bad thing, sweetheart. But I, I do think that Kevin manipulated you into signing over your proxy. Right. No, you're right. I forgot. I'm the stupid one. <laughs> no. No. Right. Because Kevin manipulated me just like Mitch manipulated me. <gasps> no! Natalie, she didn't say that at all. Stop ganging up on me. Honey, Natalie, you're taking this all wrong. Of course I am, because I'm always wrong and you're always right. Natalie, that's ridiculous. You know what? I am so sick and tired of being told what to think, how to think, how to act. I'm sorry, but Kevin, he's my brother. You know what?
Forget it. I'm out of here. That's right. Get over there right now and do whatever it takes to break Vickers. All right. Where's the lace? I thought you had a court order to take the baby away from uh, Kelly. Well, Kelly took off with him. God knows where. Oh, it's just as well. Just as well. I will never understand why you wanted to raise that boy. You really want another Todd Manning running around here? Would you stop saying that? Ace isn't... Ace isn't what? Grandpa, I thought we went over this. I'm the father of record. Ace is legally my son. And I'm gonna bring him back into this home if it kills me. Or somebody else. Why would you say something like that? This is not Paul. Paul is a grown man. I know my own son. Mother, please. Please, this is no. Ace. You are You're not taking my baby no. away from me. Let go of me. Let go of me. No. Let go of me. No. Let go of me. No one's taking my child away from me. Yes? My name's Hess. I work for Mr. Kevin Buchanan. I have a proposition for you. Are you now, or have you ever been a member of a law enforcement agency or police forensic team? No, sir. I just want to talk. Very good. I'll get right to the point. Mr. Buchanan would like to know where his wife and son are. He believes you're in possession of that information. Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry that you made a wasted trip here, Mr. Hess. I don't know how many times I told Kevin, Kelly took her son to a beachside resort. Mr. Buchanan thought you might need a little incentive. The money's all yours if you tell us what we want to know. He wanted me to assure you no one will know where the information came from. Now, come on, now, be honest, okay? How do you feel about two men or two women getting married? Uh, you know, I, I'm not really sure Rod, that I'm the you right... you need to leave Mark out of this, right? It's just a right? question. It's just a question, you. Mark. I, it's I, no big deal. I can't even believe that you're reacting this way. Since when have you had a problem with Eric being gay? Eric's my brother, and I love him. I wish he weren't gay, but he is, and I'm cool with that. <sighs> kind of. But why does he have to get married and make a spectacle of himself? Oh, oh, now? Now he's making a spectacle yeah, of himself. what point is he trying to prove, Mars? If I marry Michael someday, will I be trying to prove a point? He's in love. He's celebrating being in love and wanting to share his life with someone. What is wrong with that? Do you know how Dad's gonna react when he hears about this? He's gonna be so embarrassed, Yeah, Mars. well, that is his problem. Wait, you wanna kill him? Is that what you of want? Of course not. You're being a drama Look, queen. Well, then call him back right now. Call Eric right now and tell him to call this whole thing off. I'm sorry that you had to walk in on that. Oh, honey, I'm sorry it happened. I know, I feel terrible. I just, I started to lose it when she told me that Kevin gave Paul a job after she gave him her proxy. And I just, I can't help but think that Paul manipulated her into doing it. Well, honey, we don't know that, okay? I mean, it's possible, but uh, let's not jump to conclusions. See, the thing is, I know for a fact that Paul genuinely cares about Natalie, and obviously I want her to move on with her life. I want her to find some kind of happiness. Paul, do you really think that Paul can make her happy? I don't know. I don't know. I know you're suspicious of him, and, and I mean, I'm worried about it too, because the last thing she needs is somebody who's gonna bring her trouble. She's had more than enough of that. Well, to be honest with you, I can't help but wonder whether Paul is just dating her for her money. Bottom line, I just don't trust him. I don't usually consider this to be any of my business, but RJ did come to me, and I was put in an uncomfortable position. I love RJ, you know that. I really like John, too, so... What's going on with you and John? John and I, um... John and I, we're, it's, it's strange, and it's new, and it excites me. He excites me. 
But I, I'm not going to say anything more about that because I have absolutely no idea where this is going. No, no, my, no. Baby. <laughs> my baby! No, 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 calm no. down. Everything's all right, Melinda. Dorian's here now. No, she tried to take Paul away from me. No, no, that's Kelly with her baby, Ace. Your grandchild. This is your son, Paul. He's the one who brought me here. He's at the airport now. See, Paul is a man. This is Paul, my, my son. Yes, that's right. Honey, maybe you better take the baby now and wait for me. Okay, I just want to talk to Melinda for a minute. Okay. Okay. Good. Right there. Yes, so that's Paul. And are you uh, feeling better now? Everything, it's all wrong. I'm so confused. I'm always confused. Why is this happening to me, Dorian? And I'm so terrified that one day the confusion won't go away. You just have to fight, Melinda. Okay? Just keep fighting and stay strong. To complete the transaction, all you have to do is tell me where Mrs. Buchanan and the baby are. Actually, this transaction will be complete when you get the hell out of my house. I thought we had a deal. The Kramers are my family. I would never betray them. Very well. I'll just take my briefcase and be on my... Actually, I think I'll be keeping the money. Excuse me? Well, the way I see it, this money is bribe money. What are you going to do? You're going to go to the cops and tell them that you want your bribery money back? There's nothing illegal in offering a monetary reward in exchange for information. It's called a fee for service, Mr. Vickers. I'd warn Mrs. Buchanan to be back here tonight with the baby in tow. Well, she's going to be extremely sorry. Yes, David, what is it? Have you found Kelly and Ace yet? Yes, and not a moment too soon. Well, you got to get him back here ASAP or Kelly's going to go to jail. David, I don't know what will happen to Kelly if she loses Ace. Look, I don't like this any more than you do. I know it's going to tear Kelly up to hand Ace over to Kevin, but you've got to bring her back here now. <sighs> Okay, so, you know, you gotta do something, you know, like this, huh? You got a problem? Roxy, there is no way I am doing that in front of a room full of people. Well, they're not people, they're sexed up girls. <laughs> yeah, not gonna happen. Not in this lifetime. No way, no. You know, you gotta shake what your mama gave you or else, you know, you're not gonna get any money pushed down your pants. Well, that's what you want, isn't it? No. No! What is it with these guys? Don't ask me. It was Marcy's idea. Yeah, and conveniently, she's not here, is she? Yeah, well, I hope she's not recruiting more strippers, because I'm not doing it. Ah, uh, neither am I. You know, what we're having here is a failure to communicate. No! No, I'm not gonna call Eric, and I am not telling him to cancel this wedding. Marcy, listen to me. No, you listen to me. I happen to be very happy that Eric has found someone that he loves and that he wants to share the rest of his life with. Do you know how hard that is to, to find that? Do you? And if you and Dad can't be happy for him, then that is your problem. Well, then I'll call him myself. Well, go ahead, go ahead and call him. But I'm gonna tell you something because I know Eric. He's proud of who he is and he is not afraid or ashamed to stand up and say it. So go ahead, call him. So Ace will be my heir, you know, in line after Duke, of course. So you're going down to Texas to get your boy? Yeah, I'm gonna bring Duke back to Landview, send him to Wharton, and put him to work at Buchanan Enterprises. I'd be damn good for the boy. Well, you always said, Grandpa, I need a strong and loyal family to help me run B.E. and Joey and 
And my sisters certainly don't have what it takes, so... Hey! You look upset. Mm -hmm. Look, I just want you to know that I am on your side, the stuff with Todd. And I just told Mom and Jessica that. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sure that went over well. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, right now I have to concentrate on finding Kelly. What do you mean? She took off. I have no idea where. You know, maybe she's with Paul and Dorian. Paul and... what? Yeah, th uh, something about Paul's mother is sick or something, and they were going to fly there. Dorian didn't want Kelly to know because she didn't want to worry her, but maybe she changed her mind. Yeah, maybe. Uh, listen, I have to take care of something. Okay, well, if you talk to Kelly and Paul's there, could you have her have Paul call me? He's not answering his cell phone. Sure. Okay. Yeah. See ya. Yeah, it's Kevin Buchanan. Listen, I need the flight plan for a private plane that left your airport. Talk to these guys, would you? Listen, you guys. You cannot back out now. Come on, we'll have it at UV. It'll be fun. It's for a good cause. Hi, guys. Hey, boys. Hey. Oh, great. And here she is, the woman who started all of this. Started what? I started what? We... Yeah, what are you talking Guys, about? Guys, there's uh, something I need to say, okay? <laughs> what, that it's your lifelong goal to be a male stripper? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, Nick. Uh, it's something I should have said a long time ago, but I guess I was just scared. Uh, someone made me realize that... that being gay isn't anything to be ashamed of. So there it is. I'm gay. I'll be in my room if anybody needs me. I can't believe it. Who'd ever thought Mark was gay? Who wouldn't have? Oh, thank God. I just wanted to introduce you to your grandmother. That's all I wanted. All I wanted. Hey, is she, is she okay? David, if Kevin takes that baby away from her. No, Dorian, not if. When. Darling, why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? No, I, I don't want to. He's out of my sight. David and I will keep an eye on him and, and sleep. It'll really do you good. Yeah. Maybe for a little bit. Come on, honey. You want to go upstairs and lie down? Yeah? Okay. Kelly, open up! Kelly, you're in there. You were followed from the airport. Just relax. That's it. We shouldn't answer the door. No, okay. We it's have no okay. choice. We no. have to. Mr. Dorian, gonna... he's going to take Ace away from me. It will be we'll temporary, be... okay? Yes. This has to happen. Open the door! Please, please. Look, go upstairs, okay? Just go upstairs and relax. No. Kelly. Thank you. Where is he? He is in the living room with his mother. Easy. Take it easy. <coughs> no, please. Please stop. Please don't take my son. Please don't take my son. Please. Please don't take my son. I have to go and meet Antonio and Jamie right now. I, you'll be okay, right? Honey, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll give them my love, will you? I, I will. I, I just feel bad about what happened before with Natalie, but, Mom, I know I'm right. Paul Kramer is the worst possible person that she could get involved with. You know, you, you've obviously seen much more of him than I have. Do you really think that he would, I don't know, harm her? Yeah, I do. And she's a sucker for him because... Uh, because she's needy, sweetheart. Oh, my God. And he's gonna make her fix things like she did for Roxanne, and I know she'll do it because she can't resist. I also think part of it is she just wants to prove to us that she's right, we're wrong. I have to say that she's really wrong this time. I mean, even if it is a little bit true that Paul...
cares about her in some sick little way. In the end, he's just after her money. Yeah, I think so, too. Although I would so like not to believe that. Anyway, be careful, okay? okay. I love you. Bye, Bye darling, too. Yes, hello, this is Victoria Davidson speaking. May I speak with uh, Paul Kramer, please? Oh. Oh, Paul, hello, how are you? I'm fine, fine, thank you. Uh, yes, actually, I, I just saw Natalie a little while ago, and uh, she should be home soon. N no, no, I called to speak to you. Uh, Paul, I would like to invite you to have dinner with me tomorrow evening, please. No, no, not with Natalie, just the two of us. Because uh, you've become a rather important person in my daughter's life, and I thought it would be nice if we got to know each other a little bit. Yes, I understand you work very late, so any time at all is fine with me. I don't mind. Uh, eight, nine, ten o'clock, whatever. Paul, I'm going to insist, okay? You say you love Natalie. I'd like you to make me believe that. Please, be, be, be careful. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. I think it's time you and I have a little talk. Of course. You're planning to do everything you can to end this feud with Kevin, aren't you? I was speaking. What if the two of us join forces? Join in the dysfunction. Watch Dynasty, Dallas, Knott's Landing, and Paper Dolls. Dysfunctional Family Night, tonight starting at 7, only on SoapNet.